<laughs> okay, well this isn't a fancy video. Uh, so many people have asked me about my potatoes and eggs. So I thought I would go ahead and do that. Plus I was trying to get together some uh, different videos on how to cook on a budget. And believe me, I've had to cook on a budget before. This is a very cheap meal actually. And it really is fulfilling. I eat this all the time. That's why I'm doing the video, because I'm hungry. So, that's all you need. And you want to keep your eggs at room temperature. If you keep your eggs at room temperature, you'll get a better result. Now, I'm waiting for my dishwasher to finish sterilizing my pan so I can cook. <laughs> but when I do, I'm going to show you the process that I go through. And it's really not bad. You could do this camping. As a matter of fact, I take this with me almost everywhere I go. I'm always guaranteed I'm going to eat something I want to. And it's delicious. And this is a whole jalapeno from the store, not the garden. Uh, I even put this much in if it's from the garden, but it's not as hot. Um, and this is about a half of a small onion. Two eggs and a potato. I actually microwave these. And uh, save some heat in the house and put them in the refrigerator. You want this to be cold. And then I'll show you the rest of the process. But those are the only spices you're going to need. Okay, my pan is done. I just wanted to show you. I cut them kind of thick. You see, I'm not looking to cook them. Because I've already baked them. I'm just going to take a little bit of Lari's. And the end pieces I just cut off and use them this as well. A little bit more than I wanted. Then I hit them with a tad of paprika. It's going to come out faster than I want it to. Yep, see? So I just go ahead and hit them. Never did this before through the camera. And for the added bonus, this doesn't look as nice as I could do it when I'm not on camera. But um, for the added bonus, I must have my cayenne. And so I go ahead and sprinkle a nice amount of that all over the top. And then rather than turn them over and do it all again, because as you could tell, that was a lot of salt, I'll just go ahead and, you know, get whatever's in the plate that's left over. Make sure I mix it in. See? So it still gets a nice... You know, it's not going to be as seasoned as the top, but... That's the start for that. Now hang on a second. Okay. Well, I'm doing this video for a couple of reasons. One is I need the practice. Two, it's because this is a meal you can make and inexpensively. There was a period of time I only had $11 a month for food. And um, I had to find a way to make that work. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start it on medium-low. Well, I'll show you where I start it. Right about there. And as soon as it heats up, I'll come back. Okay, well, while my butter is continuing to melt, add a little bit more. And keep the butter near you, because you may have to. Potatoes absorb a lot of water. I want my onions to be caramelized. So... I cut them in a little bit of bigger pieces because they're going to cook with the potatoes. And be careful when you put it in your potatoes. Make sure you put them where there's butter. And make sure you keep an eye on that because they will soak up the butter. Now when I want to do this in more gourmet fashion, I do my peppers and onions first. But I'm hungry. <laughs> so... Now I'm going to go ahead and let them cook for a little while. Um, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch it because it takes a little bit of time. But as things get interesting, then I'll come back. Now I like to use a rubber spatula. It's easier to turn the potatoes without breaking them. So we're going to let this fry up a little bit. And like I said, I keep it on low because I want to see it uh, caramelize. And then it makes a nice uh, consistency for my potato. Okay, we've made a little progress here. 
And this is why I like this little rubber spatula because it's not going to break them up and I can see what's going on underneath them. And what I'm waiting for these to do is brown. Let's see if they're starting to. Sorry about that. But not completely yet. And you gotta be sure not to get your little onions and peppers underneath because it looks slow to cook time. And you're gonna watch. If it starts to look dry, then you're gonna go ahead and wanna put in some more butter. You don't want it to get dry. And I'm slowly cooking them so that everything caramelizes. And instead of having you watch me make this, because it's going to take a little bit of time, I'm just going to go ahead and keep dipping in. And when I turn them, I'll come back to you. I'm going to make my eggs in the meantime. I just put a little cayenne in there with a little bit of Lari's, because this has already got a lot of salt in it. I'm going to cook my eggs in this pan and I'm done. Okay, well, I also wanted to mention that you have to, you know, keep moving your onions and peppers around, but look. I hope you can see this, because I need to see to flip it. You see? And that one didn't get so much. This one I keep like that, because it doesn't have another side. But... See how nice that is? If you keep your potatoes chilled, it really does make a difference in the way that they end up cooking up and soaking up, not so much of the butter. Let's see. Now that's going to have a fantastic coating on it as the onions caramelize. When I flip them back over, they're going to look even prettier than these do. So I'm going to flip this guy back over though and give him just a tad bit more time in the middle. And you're going to have to add butter as you go. You just have to watch. And I'll come back here in a minute or two. Okay, it doesn't always come out perfect, but that's what I shoot for. That's why I cook it on low. If I did it separately, I'd have to do the peppers and onions, take them out, do the potatoes, and then throw the peppers and onions back in. And I'm just in a hurry, and when I'm camping, I'm not going to want to do that either. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip them. I hope you can see. It's hard for me to do one-handed and try to show you at the same time. But you see, they have a nice, they have a nice coloring to them. I'm going to finish flipping them and let them finish and I'll show them to you because they're just about done. Okay. Now I'm happy with this. I don't want to overcook it. I like the I like the way that everything cooked up. I've got a few little stray peppers but you'll see by the time I'm done cooking my eggs that uh, it's really hard to see and do that. They'll shrink down to nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap them up and put them on the plate. And then I'm going to wipe the pan out and do my eggs in the same pan. But you see, it has a really nice texture to the top. And it's crispy. And the onions aren't burnt. And uh, I'll show you the whole thing when I'm done. Okay, I leave a little bit in there still, just for flavor. One thing about eggs, if you let them come to room temperature, like I said, you'll be happier with the way that they cook. And I turn it down to that when I do my eggs, because I will not eat eggs if they have brown on them. If they browned, they were cooked wrong. So, this is nice and hot. These might be slightly orange because I put a lot of cayenne in them. But, uh, there we go. There we go. 
Now I cook mine rather fast, but I pride myself in the fact that I don't have brown eggs. So that's what I do. I cook them low and slow, and they're going to be nice and fluffy. And I'm going to plate this as soon as they're done. They're going to cook so quickly, and believe me, I will not eat round eggs. That I'm going to show you what they look like when I'm done. Okay, well there you go. Yeah, I need a little bit of mayonnaise with mine. But as you can see, the eggs, they're not, any brown you see there is a piece of onion. They're not browned. They're perfectly cooked. And look at that wonderful crust I have on my potatoes. And I add mayonnaise. I know people add all kinds of stuff, but I like the mayonnaise. But that is there. And it doesn't cost a whole lot of money to make, and yet it has a lot of nutritional value in it. Um, I'll leave a description below, but it's just eggs and potatoes and peppers and onions. So, if you like it, or if you have a creation of your own, you know, please leave comments below and a picture as well. You have a nice day, and I will too. Bye-bye.